up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I can get to talk about something. So every time I log in into my server, uh, my life needs to be restored. So that's kind of why I've been keeping this here. So every time I log in, I do uh, food. And then it gives it to me, and then I just, like, eat it to regen, like, my saturation and life. But I don't know why it just keeps going down and I gotta regen all my life and stuff. It's kind of annoying, uh, but it's not an issue because I've got this, but it's kind of an issue to the fact that it's annoying. Uh, I did a change over here, so I've got like my um, my water thing, I placed a drum, and then I've got like the ultimate mechanical pipe into the ender tank, because pretty much the ultimate uh, mechanical pipe, which is this one here, can do 6400 millibucket a tick, which is pretty much a good amount, it's less than what this thing can do. But the problem with this thing at the top, at the bottom, is that it does it per second. So you kind of need more, pl more uh, output, more of a size output that you can put uh, the liquid in. So when I had this, it was doing, there's 20 ticks in a second, so this thing was doing like a huge amount. If we look, uh, it's doing 1,280 millibucket a tick. But it gives it to you like per second, I believe. So that's kind of weird. As you can see, it gives you like 25,600. But this thing holds 16,000. So there was a lot that was wasted. So that's why I decided to put a large drum here and just move the liquid. And as you can see, I think I'm doing good on the, on the liquid that I've been using. And this thing over here has not had any problem. Uh, I've also placed some upgrades in here, and turns out now we're having more deuterium than uh, lithium, so I don't know, I might put um, some upgrades in here instead. Uh, there, there's a couple of things that I need to look out to fine-tune. Uh, it kind of turns out that there was stuff that we can do with the brine, so if you look at brine, there's chloride, and the chloride if you turn it into liquid chloride, can be used to make this. So it's probably what we're going to do next. Uh, but of course, there's like a bunch of things we need to do t for this. But the first thing is, in the last episode, I talked about something. I wanted to uh, get some of the things automated to always have a certain amount in the system. So for this, I kind of made a bunch of things. So in my inventory, you can see there's two stacks of 64K processors. There's some export bus. Uh, there's, oh, I don't have them on me, level emitters. Like this, there's the cards. There's some coprocessors. I don't think I'm going to need the coprocessor, but I'm just going to put it. Because I tried something before. I recorded a whole episode for you guys. And turned out it wasn't working. So let me explain what I tried. Uh, so I did all my setup over here. So what I did is I used a subnetwork connected to the system with a storage bus. So what it did is that the subnetwork pretty much took this, the main network as a storage and kind of used the items to crafting. That's how it's supposed to work. And normally it worked, but it didn't. It wasn't able to auto-craft, I didn't know why everything was connected properly, so I just decided to scrap it, and we're going to do it on the main network. But it kind of means that we need to do uh, more crafting CPUs. And the only issue that I have is that you can't tell, like this molecular assembler, use this CPU. That would be amazing if it was the case, but you can't. So it's kind of annoying for this, so that's why I want to make like a bunch of CPU. I mean like a bunch. Uh, so we're probably going to come out here and use this side to do it. Uh, probably by that I mean it's certain. So let's like take... Uh, I'm trying to, to line myself up. Let's go to the wall. Alright. So we're going to put like 
our things here. And this should be quite easy to do. Uh, we're simply going to put one coprocessor per crafting. I might even need to make more uh, crafting CPUs because I want them to have more space just in case from the system we end up here. Uh, so that's kind of the, the thing that we need to look at as well. Alright, so let's do this. That is a lot of CPU crafters. Alright, so the reason I'm doing this is because when it's going to auto-craft the things, it's going to use a CPU. So if I use all my CPU at the top because there's a lot of things auto-crafting, I won't be able to craft things that I, that I need when I ask for them. Oh wow, come on. There's like one missing, but I... Okay, yeah, we can use this one. Perfect. It's not next to the wall. There's always a hole. It's good. Good. All right. So, uh, I'm still asking. So, yeah, I think there's going to be more. Two, three, four. That would be the goal. Uh, but it kind of means that we're going to stop at 32. Three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. So, yeah, then that's quite a lot to use. I kind of plan to having two of those with one uh, with two of these, but like I said, I think this is going to be better. We could even add one more coprocessor to it. I think we're going to do that. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to be able to reach. But that kind of means that I'm going to have to make two more stacks and one more stacks of coprocessor. And I think that's going to be pretty good. All right. Yeah, so we're, we've got 20. I think we, we are hitting the 32 uh, processors. Yeah, so that's 32 and there's 32 left here. So one thing as well, uh, if you didn't know, when you make the wireless terminal, uh, never sure where it is. Come on. All right, there it is. So open wireless crafting terminal so you can have it in your inventory and you click the button and it's going to do this. So it's pretty good. So let's see storage. Uh, we want to make... Oh wait, it's true, it's 128 next. So okay, so as you see, there's a bunch of things to craft. Uh, so I'm pretty much going to start this and we're going to work on the rest while this thing happens. Uh, there is also uh, processors, do I have some? Yeah, this thing we're going to need 20 more. And we're going to need some crafting this here. So this thing, I don't think I'm good at crafting for it because normally you do it and then you forget about it. You forget about it. All right. So uh, we're also going to have to like link all of these. It's kind of going to be a, a challenge, but all right. So let's move this thing closer. Let's go like here. We're going to place a one of these and then we're going to use a P2P channel to start a connection over here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. So if there's 64 CPUs, that means we're going to need two. Um, hmm. Thinking, thinking. We could do half of it connected. We could just use these pretty easily. Uh, we're going to need some anchors. So luckily for you guys, normally I am having the horrible time to getting used to clicking my button to actually use the portable one. And I always go to the static one. But since I did the whole episode that you guys haven't seen that didn't work, where I use this thing a lot, I'm kind of getting used to it. So you don't have to tell me, click the button, don't go to the top, which normally you guys always have to tell me. 
as I always do this crap. So, all right. Okay. So if we do this, that means like we could do. Uh, let's just do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, did I do this right? Okay, yeah, so that's eight. So that means that like starting from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, so all of these are gonna be connected to this one. All right. Uh hmm. I'm not sure about how I'm gonna connect the next bit. I could just move this by one instead. I think yeah, I think that's the way we're gonna do this. Okay, they say not to use Vine Miner on AE. You can. It's just you need to know what you're doing. So, it's the only thing. Make sure you know what you're doing. Alright, so we're gonna go here. I I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna do it yet. So, alright. Uh, one thing we're gonna do. So, here... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we can go up to 16, so let's see. This one has one less. Wait. So that would be 14 plus 14, 28. So then there would be four more that would be connected. So let, let's try to do this. After this, uh, we're not going to lose more time over here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one don't need to count, but sure. All right. Uh, yeah, that, that was the thing I needed to do. There we go. This thing is no longer connected. Boom, perfect. Uh, we're gonna connect it here and what i'm thinking is we've got 28 so we need four more let's like take these these four over here ah uh, that kind of brings this one two three four we would have to do this there we go so now here we've got one two three four so we can connect these Doing this. One, two, three, and four. So now all of these should be connected with everything. And then we just need to do another P2P channel here to do everything else. So yeah, that's going to work. Uh, I'm going to connect all this. I'm going to prepare the next step for this. Uh, there's a lot of placing and everything. I could show you a little bit how it's going to look. Uh, I kind of wanted to do this here. So, all right. So, there's going to be a chest. There's going to be this on each side. There's going to be an export bus into said chest. Then, uh, this probably will have these on the side and then at the bottom there's going to be the level emitter like such and this is going to be 16 long so that means that we're going to need 32 for these and 32 for these so they might be just one here that's going to do 16 and one here is going to do 16 on each side. I think that that would be the best thing because it's kind of perfectly aligned. <laughs> and I think I like the idea of this. So just for the connection. So there's going... Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot. This thing is... A P2P channel. So we'll need a tiny cable, tiny cable, then these two. And then we'll use our cables like such. 
And this thing is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that should be 16 long. And I didn't think that it was going to reach here, but it does. But wait, I didn't think about this. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so let's remove 2. So now it doesn't reach, so that's perfect. Did I? Oh, okay. Oh no, there's some missing. Okay, we got some more. Perfect. So, all right, let me wait for the crafting for this. Uh, finish the crazy craft for this as well. Finish the connections. I'm also going to do the whole... Uh, Connections of things over here, put the cards in, put everything, and then we're going to look at uh, how we simply do this to automate. It's quite easy, but it's going to be nice to do. Check this out. So, pretty much I've connected everything. Uh, one thing that I do find weird is this thing says 32. This thing says 31. So, unless I miscalculated my things... Or there's one that is not connected. Uh, well, I'm not sure exactly how I did all of this. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, wait. This one is at zero. So, I think I miscalculated my things. So, let me do this. Well, let's connect this one here. So, this one should connect now because it's going to be the 32nd. And this one should connect as well, being the 32nd. Uh, wait, it might not work because we're here on this line. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh wait, actually, uh, we're going to connect this and we're simply going to put a dance here. There we go. All right, so now it should connect properly. Uh, yes. Okay, so if we go look here, 32 and 32, perfect. All right, so now everything is connected. Uh, this thing here, all done. Uh, so I connected everything as such. I think it looks cool. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe I should make it symmetrical and do like two on this side. So I do like two here as well. Maybe that would be cool. I'm not sure. But uh, the next step. So the next step is pretty much just outputting things that we already have crafted uh, stuff for it. So let's say I want to have a bunch of wood. So I would go into wood and I would take like one spruce. And let's say we're, we're going to start from the one here. So I would say you emit redstone when levels are below limit 5,000. So when I'm going to put this thing here, uh, it's going to start crafting spruce wood. So as you can see, it's making 16 at a time and it's going to go in there. Uh, I'm not sure which one of these is doing the spruce wood, but one of them is. And it's when it's doing that, it's using one CPU. So if we look here, eventually the job's going to come. It's so quick that it went in and went out already. Uh, I've also increased this thing to 16 instead of doing one. But as you saw, some of them are there. And if we look at spruce, the thing is starting to go up. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it's going to kind of allow us to do things uh, like... Uh, one thing I've also done over here is I've did do not use stocked items. So it's always going to use the material instead of using the stocked items, which is a good thing. So uh, there's a couple of things like that that I kind of want to make. Uh, like maybe I'm going to go and do... Uh, wait, where is it? Uh... So this thing here, there might be a couple of them that we might want, like sugarcane for paper, uh, the cactus seed for the slimes, and the uh, wheat that can also be good. So yeah, there's a bunch of them that I kind of need to put together, which is a good thing. I was thinking of maybe doing the 
the Nether Star one because well we we don't really care about anything else. So well, let's do this one. So Nether Star. So we're gonna say in there again. We're gonna click this thing. So we're gonna go I don't know five thousand again. And over here I'm gonna do this. So now in Nether Star I should start getting more. But this one has two recipe when it does it. So it needs to craft more things. Uh, I'm waiting for it to pop. Oh, it's so fast that it doesn't do it. But yeah, pretty much it needs to go from here to here to here to be able to do this. Uh, so the thing with the lithium that kind of happened and now it's starting to go down, which is a good thing. Uh, was I was simply going one at a time, but I, I kept saying continue to export until I've got 300,000 ingots. But I never went to 300,000 ingot. I was able to keep the number that I got in and the number that I got out the same. So it kind of made it that uh, I... W oh, whoa. That's... Okay, maybe that's not good. Oh, that kind of makes sense. It's kind of stupid, though. Uh, let's go here. So it's trying to export one, but the recipe does 16. So instead of storing the 16, it simply crafts 16, exports one, and then stores the 15, and then crafts again 16. Is there like a recipe? Yeah, there's a couple of things you can do with this, so I'm not going to do it. Well, let's go back to one. I think it's going to work better. Uh, that way I'm not going to get a crazy amount of dust in my inventory for no reason at all. Uh, Alright, boom. So yeah, there's a bunch of things like this. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do stuff like pistons, because pistons needs you to do iron plates, they need a treated wood plank, they need a compressed cobblestone. Like, there, there's a bunch of things you need to do. Uh, there is one thing you guys didn't see and I almost forgot about it. Over here in the last episode, I kind of automated this, but I had to turn it off because we need to be able to output the liquid somehow, somewhere. So, that that's kind of the issue. I could just put another thing in the DA system to get more liquid and get the treated wood recipe in here and I think this could work so I think we're gonna try this so fluid okay so you can I do this no of course I can't all right so we're gonna do a bunch of this and oh yeah this thing uses more all right there we go we need three of you and then this thing, bam, another one of these. And we're gonna put this one in there. Um, there we go, so I think it should go in this one first because I don't want the liquid that are already in there to go in there. So maybe what I could do is this. So it's gonna focus, focus this one before this one. All right. So, now we're going to need interface, or do I have an interface? Yeah, I've already got an interface here. Okay, so flow dock, or not even, I think it could just put this and output directly into it. I don't know if it's going to be fast enough, but let's see. So, we're going to grab this thing here, and we're going to tell it that we're outputting to the right. And we're going to simply put this here. Boom. It went in there. Nice. Okay. So the thing is, it went in there, but I don't think it went in here. Yeah, it didn't go in here. Huh. Um, hmm. I'm not so sure why. It should have went in there as we've got the things. So let me see what's happening. So it just sticks in here and then doesn't go in the storage. And it was instant, so as soon as we can, 
do that. Maybe it's because I need to have a bucket first. Let's try this. So let's do a bucket. I should have some over here. There we go. And let's put this in the storage. Will it go in there? It doesn't. <laughs> this thing makes no sense. Why isn't it going in the system? It's what the interface is for. Oh, there we go, it went. Oh wait, it's true, we, we've got the... Uh, I don't need to go back to the system, we could use this. All right, so actually we want fluids. There we go, we've got 5,000. So now, if I activate this thing, it should work. I might want to put like a limit to this because yeah, th this thing's getting the fluids now uh, because I don't think we need 3 million of this. <laughs> we might just need a little bit. So yeah, I think I'm going to try to put the level emitter. Uh, it's kind of going to break the line that I had here, but all right. I think it's good. We can do that. Uh, so yeah. All right, well, let's look at how we can make the wood, the treated wood from this, because it's something we need. So we need this. I think, uh, fluid crafter? No, uh, applied energistics. Okay, so there is a way, I believe, to craft something with this. In AE, because we've got the liquid, so we should be able to craft something with it. Uh, fluid assembler? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, well, let's try to do something like this. Okay, so molecular assembler. I've got one, all right? So the thing that I need is one of these. Ah, stupid processors. That is one thing I need to do, like, because I've, I'm always looking for this one. So let's do it. So processors, we need one of each. So let's do 10 of each. All right. And we're going to put them in the output. We've got one. Perfect. We got one, and this one that takes longer because there's a lot of things to do with it. It's kind of needed. Come on, come here. <laughs> Seriously, it's long, it takes so long. Sword crafting, processors, there we go, we've got it. All right, so let's go at the bottom. Uh, so we were here. Wait, it's already, what? Wait, I can't click C anymore. Oh, because I have this in my store? Wow, okay. Uh, a log. So you see, we're already at 5,000, so this thing's activated, this thing no longer works. It's no longer outputting wood into my system. So that is good. All right, so, oops. This thing here at the nether. So let's do the same thing here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, maybe I don't need five, maybe. Uh, well, I kind of need five because when I do stuff like I did, I need a lot, I need a lot. So emit one levels are below and we're gonna use this thing and this thing here, all right? And then we're gonna do the same thing here with this. Uh, emit one levels are below. Wait, did I do? Yeah, I did this one. Did this one? We don't want <laughs> that many. Uh, this one's not needed that much. Okay. And the calculation one. 5,000 seems like a good amount for this one as well. All right. So these things are going to start uh, being crafted in our things. All right. Now let's do the stuff Ooh, that I was looking for. Okay, so I believe it's this one. So then this thing will go here. Fluid assembler. I've never used one of these. Uh, so let's go at the bottom. And uh, let's just plop it somewhere. 
Okay. What is this? <laughs> that, is it a pattern? Let's try, okay. Let's try a pattern of like uh, uh, treated wood. Oh, pattern mode. Like such. Oh wait, let, let's do this. So we can use spruce. Do I have spruce? Uh, okay, so let's use the spruce here in the recipe. Even though I click the or stuff, so it sh should be fine. Uh, dang it. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Let's put that at the bottom and let's see. Is this like an actual recipe? Okay, let's try this. Uh, can I like tell it to do treated wood? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. It was that simple. All right. <laughs> well, it was that simple. So now I guess I'm just going to put it somewhere that is uh, kind of working with what we do. But this is cool. This is like super simple. Huh. Uh, let's like put it here, like at the end, boom. And let's put this thing over here. If we need something else, it's going to be there. But guys, I think we did a good thing. Uh, there's one last thing I want to talk about and it's the, uh, this thing here. So most people use the stuff from, uh, I completely forgot the name of the mod. If we do this, I'm going to remember because it's there. Immersive engineering, so you can do like your coke oven and stuff. But this thing here, you can do the redstone furnace with the augment pyrolytic conversion. And this is going to allow you to uh, cr get the coke and to get the liquid that you need. So this is a good thing. But I'm pretty happy that this thing kind of works nicely. Well, let's see. We're already at 200 buckets, like 200 buckets. I'm pretty sure we're good at 200 buckets, but kind of use the space. So why not use the space? All right, guys, that is going to be hit for today. We kind of did a good thing. We've got like crazy crafting CPUs. We can automate a lot of things uh, in between episodes. I'm going to add some stuff. And we kind of have crazy with oil with the treated wood automated, which was kind of my problems of not automating stuff like pistons and things like that. But now we can do it. So that is going to be it for today. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.